Hi everyone and welcome back to Star Atlas today, your new source for everything that's Star Atlas related. Today I wanted to talk badges and basically answer a question you might be asking yourself about the badges, if they're worth it and what are they good for. So the badges, there's many of them, you can see them in the marketplace on Star Atlas and Basically, they're, they're from the Rebirth tier badges. That's the origin of these. So in the past, if you had the first poster, for instance, the Discovery of Virus, then you would get the Atlassian badge. And if you had the next two posters, you would be a tier one and you would get the Principal badge and so on. If you had the next two posters, you would get the Officer's badge and further on, Superior, Captain. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So the utility of these badges was meant to basically reward the initial contributors to the game. So if you were a poster holder, you would have this badge and in the future, if they would drop a, f a reward or something, then they would reward the badge holders. Now, a lot of people have bought the posters after the deadline of the 25th of August. So they kind of decided that they would also reward the poster holders in the future. Now. This is likely not going to happen this year, but probably next year or something like that. But these rewards will be tilted more towards the badge holders than the poster holders. That has been mentioned multiple times. Now, for me, the badges are a special class of assets. They, just like the posters, they're limited in supply. There won't ever be more of them. And they're very different from instance from the ships. So the ships, there will be over 120 individual designs until, well, that will exist in the Star Atlas Metaverse. Right now, we probably have 10-ish models, and by the end of the year, we were expecting 30-ish models, but we'll see if they can manage that deadline. But what that means is that for the ships, although the amount is finite, for each individual ships. There will be more and more ships in the future coming out. There'll be different ships, but in a way they are competing against each other for this market and the supply of ships altogether will increase and that will weigh down on the prices. Whereas for the badges, these are finite. There won't ever be more. And these are very exclusive items so for the atlas batch there's only 10,000 of those which is well it's quite a lot it's an uncommon but here's a description the utility that you get from them it activates access to future perks and events rewarded to those who participated in a reward a rebirth event so they will have rewards in the future we don't know what it is and that's the nice thing about it if we take a guess at what these rewards might be in the future. You could simply think about, let's say, a skin for a ship. So if you're the holder of a superior badge, there's only 72 of those. This is an epic item. Well, if uh, 72 of these skins are distributed to these badge holders, you can kind of guess what the value of these skins would be on the secondary market. Now we've seen skins drop, let's say the FTX skins, there's been 1,500. We can see what the price is trading for those. We can see the Radium skins, there's been seven or 8,000 of those. We can see how much they trade for. But as you go down in supply, these items become quite exclusive and the price tag also increases quite a lot. Now, other than the badges, there was also the permits. Now, I'm not going to cover. There was the faction passport. That's a very common item. There will be they will be easy to get in the game, so I'm not going to cover that. But there was these permits here. The faction meta pass. There's only five of those. They were given with the higher tier, but it says here that it's epic, which is less than the the VIP passport, which is legendary. So this kind of leads me to believe that this permit could be more common in the future. It would be able to get it in the game. Although right now there's only five of those, but for the VIP access, it's legendary. There's only 724 of those. And Michael has said that the VIP badges related to the rebirth are exclusive. So if, if they stick to that, then there won't ever be more of these, these VIP accesses. And what this VIP access gives you is closer access to Station Hub through the VIP entry and VIP access to events. Now, we don't really know what this means, but 
my supposition is if you're trying to sell your items, your mining stuff that you mine on a planet, if you go to the space station, you will be able to get a special entry, maybe sell before everyone else, or I don't know how this works, or you get a better access to these sale platforms. That could be one option. Or if there's a future sale in the, the future um, for ships, let's say, or if they're selling land or something like that, then maybe you can get the first calls on what they're selling. That could be another option. So far, there hasn't been any utility or they haven't done anything for the VIP permit holders, but we can kind of imagine what this could be in the future. And in my opinion, that could be a very valuable asset. And right now, this asset is trading at 1,500 in the past, it was much higher. And if you guys want to see what the prices were in the past, you can go on Dex Lab. It's a nice trading platform. and. You can see the graph of where it was trading in the past. We were closer to the 5,000, 4,000s when this was early September. Prices kind of dipped a little bit, went back up a little bit. And right now we're kind of in a low range. I mean, if you think about it, there's only 724 of these items. There won't ever be more if what Michael said is true. Then if you get if you can get one of those for 1,000 or 1,500, I would say that's pretty much on the cheap side. Obviously, this is not a financial advice, it's just for your entertainment, but I personally got one at these prices because I think it could be much more valuable than that in the future. And also, if you just look at the prices that are on the sell side, there's maybe three people selling at 2000, but then it quickly goes up to 3000 and 4000. So there's not a lot of supply for these. and. I don't think that's going to change and especially right now there's no utility for it but if in the future we start seeing that oh this is worth a lot uh, you get so much more benefits if you have a vip pass these prices will skyrocket that's for sure now the other assets the badges we can start with the atlassian badge i mean there's ten thousand of those it's trading maybe for 35 to 84. I mean, for me, that's pretty cheap price for, for an asset. I mean, you're not risking a lot. You can just imagine if they were giving out a, sh a skin, for example, there's 10,000 of those. Yeah, probably could be worth 35 or something. We don't know what the future rewards will be for the badge, but in my opinion, that's a pretty cheap price. If we go further down the principal badge, there's 3,000 of those. So you start seeing that it's much more rare. But still at 125, that's uh, pretty much on the cheap side. And the unique badge is probably the most undervalued. So we have the principal badge where there's 3,000 of those. They were selling at 135. But the unique badge, you can bid it at 110. And there's only 2,000 of those. So it's cheaper and there's less supply. So if there's a reward in the future for the unique badge, right now it's probably one of the best values you can get. If we look at the officer badge, obviously now we're getting into more exclusive badge. There's only 724 of those. If we compare this to the VIP badge, which also is a 724, it's trading much cheaper than that. So at 800, I mean, there's only two bids at 800. If these two disappear, then you're at 300. But putting in a bid for 400 or one, even one at 850, to me, it seems still pretty cheap for, for this kind of exclusive badge. If we go further down the line, the superior badge, there's only 72 of those, but I don't think anybody is selling those. Uh, there's one guy selling at 25,000, quite expensive, but it's a very exclusive item. So I'm guessing nobody's gonna sell them for, for cheap, that's for sure. So yeah, for me, there, there's some opportunities to be made probably in the badges right now. I've personally purchased some of them. I've bought some uh, principal unique and I'm um, trying to buy an officer's badge as well. I, I bought a VIP pass for quite cheap, I think. And I think right now there's a bit of a lull. The prices are a bit lower. We had a bit of a dip last week and the badge prices has, have remained lower compared to other assets. So. Maybe now is a good time to, to get some. We still don't know what the value will be in the future, what rewards we'll get. So obviously this is all speculation. If uh, if you don't have the money to, 
I mean, for me, this is money that you could lose. It could go to zero. So if you don't want to lose money, don't don't delve into this. But uh, if you think that these badges will have more value in the future, then I think right now is a good time to buy them. And I'm also guessing that once they announce that there's going to be a reward that is associated with any of these badges, the prices will increase quite a lot. Now, you can see this quite often happening in the in the blockchain metaverse or whatever. And for instance, when Orca, Orca had these little collectibles that they were giving out to people depending on how much they had staked in pools or whatever. And last week they came out saying that you could stake these collectibles and make money out of it. And you could quickly see the difference in price and how much they were trading before and after um, they made the announcement. So that usually happens quite a lot in uh, on on the Solana or whatever in the in the crypto space, where there is an asset, there's not a fixed utility for it, and then once they announce what the utility is, then the price just goes up. So that's it. That's all I wanted to cover on the badges. And just a reminder that this week is going to be a very important week. I'm going to I put a video out on Friday or Saturday talking about these major news is that Star Atlas came out with. So if you haven't seen it, just top right corner, I'll put a link. Uh, the main point is Tuesday, we're going to be able to set up our profile and select our factions for the mini game in Star Atlas. Wednesday, we're going to have a video premiere and Thursday, there's going to be a ship sale. It's probably going to be the Pierce F4 and the Fimble Ecos Grenadier, which are going to be on sale. If you want more information about that, just check that video I put up on a link. And that's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section and I will keep you guys updated.